I'm Lewis, thank you very much for talking to Interfilm today. Great pleasure. Yeah, it's great to see you. So how did you get involved with it? I'd actually seen a very early draft of the film because uh, Bruce and I had worked together and become friends and he told me about his interest in it and then he became increasingly sort of passionate about working with kids who were waiting to find whether they had leave to remain. So what was it like working with him and sort of other young actors in their first, first film? Without realising it, you start behaving a bit like your character. The, 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 uh, the way you organise your life begins to sort of correspond to your character a bit. So my character in the film is, is trying to sort of understand and engage with this group of adolescents and children. But he always remains a bit outside it. Yeah. Nigeria? <laughs> no, no, no. No Nigeria. Guinea. Guinea. You don't like Nigeria? Besiki Kokambe, Lambe, Afrique. She says that Nigerians think they're kings of Africa. Kidenjogi, Nai Ikane boy. She says that so we have more cows, more gold, and, mm -hmm. and the most beautiful women. And I felt a weeny bit like that looking at this amazing group of young actors because they had their own codes very quickly, their own culture, their own way of working, their own rituals and their own you know support for each other and I, th I think that's crucial when you're making an independent film you often find in independent films the spirit of the crew and the spirit of the actors is very uh, important to the success of the film because everyone is there for the right reasons so um yeah, what challenges did you face during during filming so it's about concentration when a film's moving that fast it's about everyone concentrating much harder because there isn't the time to go back and there isn't the money to go back. Mm. And one of the best things for me in the film was the convincing um, performances from the actors. How important was that for you, do you think? It certainly made me respect uh, Bruce's decision to work as authentically as possible. And it goes without saying, you know, I had huge respect for these a lot of these younger performers because of the bravery of what they were doing, you know. Yeah. I, I started doing these interviews sort of four years ago and... Uh, it's going very well. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, like, you know, when I started, I found it, you know, it's very nerve-wracking and, uh, you know, sometimes it's, you know, it's, it, you know, it's quite hard, you know, to sort of talk, you know, on camera and everything. So how do you get the confidence as an actor to deliver lines? It's a very hard thing to explain how you have the confidence. Some days I'm completely struck with no confidence whatsoever. I suddenly panic that I can't do my job anymore. Mm. On great days, I don't think about the fact that I'm doing my job, and so I suppose that's confidence. Yeah. Um, but that's only experience that you, that you get through doing that, and there's no fast forward to that. It kind of comes naturally, you don't really... Well, I think it's, like, it's one of those boring things that adults say to young children. It's about, you know, practice, man. It's just practice, and kids hate it, but it's just the truth. I, I, I don't know any other way to explain it. Thanks very much for talking to me today, Not and all. Um, all the best. Thanks a lot, mate. Good questions. Thank you. Thank you. We are all in this together, but not all of us will be believed.